I'm Noah Elliott Morrison. I moved to Detroit in 2010, and this project is about highways. I love the infrastructure, the way the architecture of all these, you know, insane sort of giant things are looming over us all the time. It was a reason to stop and take a closer look at these. And uh, also coming from this portrait background, I wanted to have people in these shots. So I set up my car to help people who were stranded on the side of the road with a gas can, jumper cables, some fix-a-flat, a cooler with water, and uh, I started stopping for people whenever I saw them, you know, if I didn't have to be somewhere on time. <laughs> when I told people about the project and why I wanted to take their photos, they uh, were all interested, but maybe about a quarter of them said yes to me then taking the photo of them. Because I, I ran into all kinds of situations. Uh, more often than not, it was just car broke down, not sure what the problem was, and nothing I could really do to help. Uh, but then sometimes once it was an accident um, that had just happened, fender bender, and uh, another time a tire all shredded. But for the most part, what I learned was that it's really easy to find people. Really, any time I went out in the highway, found someone immediately. And the other thing was that if you haven't been stopping for people, you probably can't do much if you start because almost no one I could actually help because they either had AAA on the way, a family member, a one person had his boss, like uh, he was on his way to work and his boss was happy to help him out, which was a cool thing to hear. But people are mostly just waiting. When you start looking at the scenery in this context of these still moments, you can't help but notice the consistency of houses that are or aren't near those roads. You know, and I think more often than not, it's not the nicest houses. And, uh, you know, th these huge dividing fences, things to separate the highway from people when the highways were really things that separated people altogether, um, cutting up neighborhoods in the past, redlining districts. Yeah, and four lane, eight lane roads then next to these houses that, uh, you know, and zero people, zero cars on those spaces. It's uh, kind of sad to think of like all of the houses that might have been there at one time, all of these different families that might have at one point been displaced or one side of the highway looking a little bit nicer than the other side of the highway. I think these images together, you can look at a lot of different ways, but my intent was always these places, these spaces are, are beautiful and you can't stop and look at them. And I wanted a reason to stop this like 60 miles an hour, 70, 80, 90 miles an hour and bring it down to one moment. And these sort of beautiful green spaces and even these concrete structures and slabs, I think some of them are just amazing almost uh, this like epic landscape that as you know, I don't consider myself primarily a landscape photographer. I, I found them more engaging than, uh, than most spaces I'm working in. 